my name is Cody Marks Bailey, first, middle, last. I live here in Mexico City. Uh, I came to uh, the university about three weeks ago during construction and was really curious about what the university had uh, to offer. And, you know, you, you have your ideas of what a university looks like. You know, you've got the, the, the Roman architecture and the Greek architecture and stuff. Um, and I, you know, showed up to, a, to this uh, really modern building, walked inside and I, I kind of walked around a while looking, wondering where the university was. I was, I was in a co-working space. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, there's gotta be classrooms or something around here somewhere. And no, this is, it's like a co-working space with an ed education uh, component bolted on. And so the, the, the amount of focus and, um, and attention to, to collaboration, um, which happens spontaneously, you can't, you can't sit somebody in, in a chair, you know, with a gun to their head and say, you have to innovate. Like it's time, you know, it's, it's, it's 3.30, it's, it's the hour we're gonna innovate. That doesn't, that's not how it happens. So you need to have that, that environment that allows for the, the creativity, the, the freedom, the, the, the expressed permission to, to innovate, to think differently, to, to, to collaborate with people that, aren't, that you may not cross paths with in a, in a normal uh, university. You've got all the, all the people studying history in one building, all the mathematicians over here, all the, 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 the physics people in the, in the building next door, and, and, and they're, they're siloed. But if you have that, that mix where you have the, the common spaces, you have an area that people want to hang out in. So as soon as class is out, they don't want to just head back home or, 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 or leave the camp. They want to stick around. It's, it's a comfortable environment. It's, 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 um, it's a place for, for people to, to interact um, and in a comfortable setting that's, that's inviting and welcoming. A university like this brings different mindsets around uh, the future of, of, of possibilities in the world. Um, and I think that a lot of the, the students that are, that are out there are, are adults and professionals and, and you know, um, have kind of been put into these uh, boxes of, of thinking. And it's, it's the old way of doing things. It's the, it's the way that, that you know, their, their, their mother and father did it, the way that their grandfather and grandmother did it. And, and we, it's time to reimagine all of those things. We've got new technologies. We've got, we've got the, the accelerating change, the exponential growth in, in different technologies that are out there and proliferating around the world. And we can't take the old methods that we developed in the 80s and 90s and 2000s and expect that to keep working with these radically changing uh, technologies and, and, and approaches. And I don't just mean technology in a, in a, in a, a technological computer microprocessor type thing, but I mean any type of tool that can be used to have an order of magnitude more um, uh, and change and, 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 and impact. And so universities like this that embrace that idea, that embrace the, the concept around technology, like I've described it, is, is beyond needed in the world. We need, we need 50 of these universities. Uh, you know, we need, we, need, we need a thousand of these. We need, a, we need more of this, this type of approach. That's a, that's a loaded question. I think every person is born free. I think we're all born with a, you know, a, a classical libertarian idea. I think that's a, that's an idea that that seems probably the most natural for humans when we're born. And then by the second or third grade, they beat it out of us, and they 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 bring the institutions front and center, and we have to sort of um, bend to their will. And one thing that that we have to our advantage, the the, the freedom promoters and lovers of freedom, is that it doesn't take much to to get people to remember what that freedom looks like and how it's, it's, a, it's a very natural and, and, and easy thing to, to readopt into your life. And all you have to be shown is just a little bit of examples. It's not a, it's not a hard lesson to be, you know, it takes a little bit of time and then finally it's like, oh, this is, yeah, 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 I get it. This is, this is natural. No, because I've seen spaces like this at places that don't promote freedom. I've seen hyper-socialist organizations that have spaces like this. So I don't know if there's a, I don't know if I can speak to the, like how this space is different. If, if it's there, I'm just not sensitive enough to see it, but you know, I've been to plenty of Google headquarters and you know, that kind of stuff. So I don't know if that's how I could speak to that. To have, to have a university with, you know, the, the term liberty in its name tells you that there's a, there's a principle, there's a principle 
idea behind it. And, uh, and to know that, that each decision that's made in the academic realm or, or otherwise, which, you know, academia is a, is a, that's a strange word to use, but there's so, there's so much more to, to a, to an education. There's so much more to a, an institution like this than just the academic side, the traditional academic side. And so knowing that, that the prism from which everything is, is based upon is around liberty, you know that, that every, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a an influence on, on curriculum, on, I, on every decision that's made from, you know, how is the, how is the cafeteria run to what are the, the ideals that are promoted? What is the, the takeaways? What are the, the social impacts from a university like this? When I was uh, about 14 years old, I realized that I didn't like being told what to do. And in fact, being at a, a public high school in Texas was no place for me. And um, being told to sit in a chair and read this book or answer these questions was not really the way that I, uh, I wanted to learn. I, I, I did most of my learning at night when I got home. You know, I was tired from getting up at 7 or 8 a.m. I knew from the age of 14 or 15 that I was never going to college. And, you know, I could have I taken the test and gotten in. I'm, I'm, I'm probably smart enough to do that. But I didn't feel the need to go and sit in a normal institution like that. I wasn't going to do it myself. If there was a place that I could go where I could could receive the guidance and the accelerated learning, uh, I would have taken that up in a heartbeat. In fact, I, I reached out to many mentors that had, you know, very high end uh, degrees to 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 get that knowledge. But there wasn't a path for for guys like me to to go into academia or into higher education um, and find that because it was you know you have to take all these extra courses or, you know, there's so structured and regimented it, that just wasn't for me. So I kind of fell through the cracks in that regard. Probably. Yeah. 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 I would. Yeah. This is, this university feels like the university I was looking for, you know, coming out of high school, um, being able to kind of choose your own adventure, um, being able to, to put together your own path, learn the things that you're most interested in, and have the, have the university's attention to focus on accelerating what I want to do in life. That's, that's, that comes back to the freedom part, right? About choosing the type of life you want to live. That's a really important piece. And unfortunately, there's not many institutions out there that, that really are responsive to that. It's more about, we've got this, this model that, that we're going to cram. You know, if we can get 85% of the people through there to some, with some degree of, of uh, tolerance, we're fine with that, but the, the individual, no, it's, it's, it hasn't, it hasn't, that's been long gone.